Hi there, this is Dawn Priolette again, and this is going to be round two of, this is module four, we're tapping on the heart chakra, and we're tapping on that unforgivable thing that you did. So this is gonna be round two, and hopefully you've measured from zero to 10, and you're, it has lightened up a bit on the it's unforgivable feeling and so we're just going to start tapping um, again on the karate chop point so we're opening up to forgiveness just a little bit more so even though I have this story and I have judged it absolutely and myself as unforgivable Not how it should have happened. Not even close. Oh my goodness. This is way below my standards. I am open to accepting who I am with compassion. The truth is, I was always doing my best. I was. I was doing the best with what I knew at that time and where I was. I really was doing my best. Even though I have this story and it has been a piece of evidence, it has been an evidence, the evidence that I needed to prove that I'm not perfect yet. Therefore, I don't deserve yet. <coughs> that I'm not there yet. That I'm not perfect yet. I don't deserve yet. But I choose to accept myself right now in the present moment with compassion. I am open to the idea that I could actually extend forgiveness to myself. The same forgiveness that I always extend to other people. Even though I have this story and it reminds me that disappointment is lurking around every corner. Not how it was supposed to be. And I refuse to see the divinity in this. In that story, I'm just going to honor myself anyway with compassion. Now, tapping through the points. I'm open to seeing the big picture. From the microscope to the universe. I am open to forgiving myself. I'm open to seeing the divinity even in my imperfection. And divine order. I am perfect in my imperfection. I am open to seeing my own brilliance. My commitment towards consciousness as being part of my life purpose to embody mastery to embody who I am in every moment I am open to forgiving myself 
to opening my heart and saying, it's okay. There is nothing that I could ever do that is truly unforgivable. I have seen this story as part of my evidence that I don't deserve yet. As I forgive myself, I honor how deserving I truly am right now in this present moment. <sighs> Okay, you might not have been ready yet for that particular round, um, but again, you know, you can go back through these videos, go back to the first video, and you can start over and, you know, do this as many times as you need to. But right now, I'd like you to close your eyes and look at that picture again, and again, take a measurement. Say the words out loud. It's unforgivable. And see now where you're at. So you started from a 10 at the very beginning before the first video and then we did a round of tapping and then now this is the second round. So where are you at now with the unforgiveness? And so I'm going to go right ahead and we're going to go into round three and this one's going to bring up more of the sadness about this. You may be feeling some tightness in your throat, some sadness coming up. So just tap through the points. This tightness in my throat. I don't want to speak the truth of this. These are words that I've never said. I can't forgive myself. And allow that to be my truth. If I start going there, there's going to be too much pain. I'm going to feel a lifetime of broken heart. Every single time that I have broken my own heart, I don't want to feel all that. This feeling in my throat telling me of the sadness, the sadness of expressing this lie that I have to be perfect. That I am not lovable. Or deserving until I am perfect. The sadness in that lie, it had broken my heart. It has caused me a lot of heartbreak. And it has really cost me a lot. It has caused me years of frenetic activity. Doing, doing, and doing. Treating my body like a machine. I don't want to feel this. It could overwhelm me. I would rather stay up in my head. <sighs> this feeling in my throat. This feeling in my heart. I'm feeling the price. I'm feeling the loss. <sighs> the loss that I've had because of this lie. I lived it through my actions. 
I closed my heart with criticism. I spoke the truth of this lie with my fifth chakra. And I looked out into the world through the truth of this lie. And I saw everywhere imperfection, disappointment, and things to be judged. I am really feeling, really feeling the loss from all of this. I have lived it as the truth. And I'm now seeing it as a lie. And I am feeling that down through my fifth chakra, all the way down to my heart. I honor my heart in all the ways that it supports me, in all the ways that I've broken it. I am so sorry. I forgive myself. Take a nice, deep breath. <sighs> okay, so again, you should be feeling so much better now. And but we're going to come back and I'm going to do one more positive, more positive round. So <laughs> go ahead and measure that level of it's unforgivable again. If you're not at least down to like a three, two or one, you might want to go back through, redo some of the tapping or there may be something very specific that is coming up for you. And you need to do the tapping on that specific thing that's coming up. So I will see you for round four in the next video.